Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus, SUV Talk. Got some interesting photos today showing the comparison between the new Ford Maverick that's on its way and the Ford Ranger that came out a couple years ago, the redone from Europe, came over to the United States. Anyways, we have some interesting size comparisons. In this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of photos comparing the Maverick to the Ranger. I also have some photos showing the Ranger to the F-150, so we can kind of see a uh, Ford strategy of, of small truck, medium truck, full-size truck kind of how they're doing, what their thoughts are on this. And we'll talk to you a little bit more about this Ford Maverick. Let me get some details here in just a second. Uh, it's expected to be basically a Ford Bronco Sport. It's gonna use independent rear suspension, independent fence suspension. Um, they're aiming for a sub $20,000 price range. Uh, probably gonna get a couple engines, the 1.5 liter three cylinder and the 2.0 liter four cylinder made at eight speed transmissions that are done in the Ford Bronco Sport. Uh, looking at some trims, I think we did a video last week on a Lariat trim. So you're gonna have like a XL, XLT, and Lariat, probably for your three trim walks on this one. Uh, so probably fully loaded Lariat, it's gonna be about 25 or so in that range. Um, I don't think it's gonna hit 30, but you never know these days. Trucks are getting really expensive. Uh, the Ford Bronco Sport, the best it can do is 25 city and 28 highway. I expect the same for this truck. I don't expect it to be 30. There's a lot of conversation online. It's gotta be 30, it's gotta be 35, it's gotta be this, that, and the other. But I mean, this is a in-town truck, a fleet truck, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's not meant to get like full um, crazy mile per gallon. I doubt it'll be a hybrid version of it either. So you're probably looking at sub 20s, fuel economy, towing, uh, the towing capacity in Ford Bronco Sports, 2000 to 2200. I'd expect this to be a little more, probably 3500, probably your range in towing there. And probably gonna have just one or two cab choices, either crew cab or extended cab. Um, I don't see a crew cab eight foot bed. I don't see that happening at all. It'll probably be just a crew cab with maybe a five, five and a foot bed. It's just gonna be a small truck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to these images and we kind of really see what the size differences are and it's really good comparison photos. Okay, let's start with the first one I have here. This is a Ford Ranger and you can see the Ford Maverick behind. The Maverick's in camouflage because it hasn't been unveiled yet, but you can see them just kind of driving around here. And you see the, the cornering, you can see the turning for the Ranger and you see the Maverick. As you can see, I'm parked here. They're uh, sharing notes or whatever, or maybe they're meeting out for a burger. But anyways, we got them uh, parked here side by side. The Ranger's in a bad parking spot, by the way. Um, but you can see them side by side, and you can see just a few, I don't know if it's going to be a full foot shorter, but at least six to eight inches shorter probably in that range. I'll kind of, here's a better one for you, kind of showing the comparisons. You can see the door handles are lower. You can see that the cab is lower. You can see the bed is Bed's a little more unique. Looks like that's got a tonneau cover on top of the uh, Maverick. Uh, the wheels look uh, smaller. Definitely smaller wheels there. Still got the tow hitch. Uh, you still have the uh, uh, plug-ins there. What's interesting with this photo though is you can see the bumper's different. It's, a, it's just a different design bumper. It's pretty interesting to look at that and see the differences there. I don't know why they, why they do that. Maybe it's short enough. You don't need that drop down bumper to step on it. Maybe you just put your foot right on that, that longer bumper. I hadn't noticed that before in other spy photos. It's, it's interesting what you pick out. Uh, you can see a little bit of independent rear suspension in the Ford Maverick. Um, as you can see, they kind of, I guess the Ranger's backing up now, but as you can see, you just, like I said, see the differences there. And you can see as, as it kind of pulls away, really the, the length looks about the same, maybe a little bit shorter on the Maverick, but yeah, they're, they're pretty uh, pretty similar as far as uh, styling, I think you'll find the interior of the Ford Ranger will match the interior of the Ford Maverick. They'll be probably about the same, but you can see just the differences there. I wish we had head-on shot, but we don't, of, of kind of the differences between those vehicles. But let's look at these. Um, okay, this is what I was looking for. So this is the F-150 versus the Ford Ranger, and you can see the differences there. Just, you know, four or five differences probably in height. And then imagine the Ford Maverick next to this. You can just kind of see small, medium, large, basically is kind of how you see these trucks. Um, I could see the Ford Maverick being a little bit narrower, a little bit shorter, and not maybe, maybe similar length, and has that just different bumper. So pretty interesting, I thought. Uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys as soon as I got these photos, because it is interesting, the size differences, and it's kind of nice to have more choices in the market. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this kind of useful. If you're out there shopping for new trucks, it's an interesting option here. You know, if you're not somebody who's gonna tow a lot, if you want to save some money, if you want a smaller truck park in your garage, more of a handyman kind of truck, this could be a really good option. And it's replacing Ford's car lineup is going to be now a small truck lineup. So I don't know. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how it does. I'll be curious to see if it sells. I mean, these smaller kind of trucks are popular in parts of the country, or part of the world, 
and different parts of the country will probably use these quite a bit. I mean, I see a lot of farmers using this for like fixes and fence posts and things. They have a lot of side-by-sides these days, but maybe this is a better option. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Hey, make sure you check out the video out over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.